Okay, hi. I'm in X8. I'm going to use the wall tool and create a house. Very simple house. And then I'm going to use the uh, railing tool to create a porch. Doesn't have to be the railing tool. I'm just doing doing it that way. For my <coughs> demonstration, I'm going to just make these side walls uh, invisible. Okay, we'll set that invisible. This front wall, I'm going to change it to, um, I don't know why I drew it with railing walls. That's not significant. We just need some walls there. And we'll make this this outer one uh, stucco sit four. Just for fun, I'm going to set the materials tab for this wall. The in interior, I'm going to set it from drywall to uh, stucco. So it looks like it's stucco on both. Oh, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. Undo railing. There we go. That's what I was expecting. Okay, now I'm going to go into an elevation camera of this uh, porch. There it is there. Oh, I, did, I haven't put any roofs on. That's not important. We're not, this isn't a roof tutorial. Now I'm just going to put a doorway. Boing. There's a doorway. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to resize this. Door is a little bit easier to resize if you leave the casing on. They're, look, they're easier to select. That's good enough. And uh, you can take this, this doorway and make it a, an arch. Go around top. You can do it whatever, however you want. But that's, you know, that's a way to get that shape. Pretty simple got trim around it and so forth. Let's look at that in an isometric camera. I said my porch shouldn't have uh, hardwood on it. I didn't name it porch. That's why it doesn't have hardwood on it. Okay, it's got a, a ceiling <coughs> and no sides. And so that's one way to do it. Now if you want to have something a little fancier, uh, I'm just going to go in here and delete the doorway and make the wall invisible. Make the wall invisible. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to go back to an elevation camera of that area. You can't see anything because all the walls are invisible. But I can see down here. So I'm going to draw using two dimensional tools a closed polyline right there. I'm just going to keep this simple. For are relatively simple to begin. Now I'm going to take this two-dimensional object and raise it up and then we'll pull it down to the slab. It kind of depends on your design what you, what you do. <clears throat> I'm going to use the line break tool and break this bottom of this line in two places. I'm not going to care, care about the symmet symmetry or the uh, dimensions right now. I'm just demonstrating. Okay, and there's there's an arch, a, a potential arch. And I'm going to take this line here and use the line to arc to make it into an arc. Okay, now I'm going to click on the Convert tool and select Polyline Solid. Not a material region. This time I want a solid. Click OK. We'll get the Polyline Solid uh, <coughs> dialog. This. This input here uh, make, allows me to set how, how thick it is. I'm going to make it 12 inches thick. And the default material for polyline solids is concrete. Uh, if I wanted to add, change the material, I'll just go over here and uh, go to beige stucco and put stucco on it. Now we'll take a look at that in an isometric camera. And so, use your imagination, and I, you can see that's not, not quite where I intended it to go, so we'll click on it in plan view and just drag it out. Oh, it's bumping into things, so I'm going to open this dialog, go to the line style tab, and uncheck these uh, bumping behaviors so I can drag it freely. It was bumping into the text there. Okay, it's a little bit off. 
you can use uh, line it up and so forth. And that's kind of another way to do it. I could uh, make another one here with another arch and one over here with another arch. You could draw up three solid walls and put doorways in them. But the polyline solid uh, allows you to be a little bit more creative. And, uh, you know, you can alter this in, di in various and different ways. You should practice with it. Yeah, look at this one here. You can move the whole thing. I think there's maybe in an elevation camera. I don't see the move handle I want. Anyway, you can alter this. It's easier to do in an elevation camera. Let me go into an elevation camera. Yeah, that's the one ha handle I couldn't see in an isometric camera. Then I can move this arc. That moves the whole thing. This moves the arc. So, in my earlier answer, uh, that's what I was trying to describe. And I do realize, I, I checked uh, cheaparchitect.com to see if there was any tutorials on polyline solids, and I, I did a quick search and didn't find any, any so I understand where you're coming from. <clears throat> but uh, play around with it, and then uh, you, you, if you wanted trim in your picture, I saw trim here. Well, the thing for that, let me show you. I'll go back to an elevation camera. It's, I think it's easiest to do in that. And we'll draw an arc from here with your snaps on it. It makes it pretty easy. So those snap to the corners. Now I'm going to use this triangular handle and line it up there. Now I'm going to convert this, that single line, to a 3D molding polyline. And then we'll go over to moldings in the at. Well, I'll just use that. I'll just make it a little bit taller. We'll make it uh, six inches tall leave it an inch in, in uh, thickness. Uh, I've got to I've got to go back over here and uh, to the top change those settings. Okay now that's going the wrong way. <laughs> it's that's the reason these things take practice because it's not as straightforward as you might think right out the back. I want this uh, to the to the bottom to the and but to the inside of the, it's a little bit hard to tell what the inside of the polyline is. Uh, let's see. It's let me make sure that polylines are on in plan view. I think that's uh, moldings. Millwork moldings. Okay, they're on. I don't see it. Let me click here and see if I can hit the tab key and, and select it up. I'm going to go to the all off <laughs> and then turn on moldings, just moldings. Ah, so it's way back here. Let me turn on the reference display. Let me do that. Go up again. Okay, so the moldings over here. See, there it is. So I'm going to click on it and uh, use, uh-oh, I'm going to double select it, <laughs> shift select, you might say, so I can get this transform replicate tool and move it down screen uh, 60 inches, just guessing. Let me see where it is now. It's right there. I'm not seeing the reference display now. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's back on the house. I was trying to move it down screen, and uh, let me see if I can get it with a marquee. There we go. This way, and then I'll turn. I'll go back to the default set where, there, where all the layers are on. Now, I got it pretty close. See, there it is. At first, it was so far in the house I couldn't even find it. I move that out there on the edge. We'll go back to the. Yeah, there we go. That's what I intended. That's how you can get the trim on there, even though that this is not a wall or a doorway. And uh, 
you could draw another one here and put trim here and here. There's a, lots of different ways to do it. You just have to learn those tools one at a time and then put them together to uh, solve some complex problems. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show you with that. Yeah, I created a, a molding profile there. And then <clears throat> I totally feel feel your pain as a, a new user. I, when I, it took me a year or so to really get squared away. And uh, I've been teaching since 1999. And uh, it's no easy task to learn all, everything because there's so much to learn. Anyway, thanks for watching.